Last Year Fans, Monster Jam World 16 here, and you're probably wondering, where are we exactly? Well, this is the unboxing filming area that I made, and it has Hot Wheels trucks from side to side. It has, like, retro trucks on either side with the newer models, and laying right in front of us is four trucks that will be showing off today. And here are the four new trucks that are on. First up is Doomsday. Finally getting that for once. That's so long. And the last three I'm showing are actually fairly recently released. Next is the Black El Toro Loco X-Ray <clears throat> truck. And then this one actually is very... It apparently got damaged with the box. This is Carolina Crusher. <laughs> And the final one to appear on the far side is the Monster Mutt Rottweiler X-Ray truck. These four came in the mail today, and I got to admit, all of them are very cool to see. I haven't gotten any of these yet. I've gotten Rottweiler and El Toro, which were behind us. And these are the original versions of them. Blue Thunder was just there because I couldn't find any good trucks to represent, like Crusher and Thunder. And, uh, then Doomsday and NEA, obviously, so let's get these trucks out of the boxes, and, and here we go, yeah, Battle Slammer, it's blank, of course, to keep its mysterious identity, there is Doomsday, I, People were complaining a lot about this truck, but I actually don't have any problems with it. I mean, sure, it does look like NEA just painted black, but uh, uh, I think it's good. But I also want to know another thing. This is Doomsday's box. Look at the Battle Slammer. That one is a shield Battle Slammer, I believe. It's, and this is a fist. Completely different. And this is a different box. It has the... The Dragon Blast Challenge playset on the back instead of like the other trucks. So these are on the other ones too because the the other ones have fists like Carolina Crusher and the the other two trucks that have the claws on them. Um, those have the same boxes back. So that I thought was pretty weird. So Doomsday's got his on there. I opened up Carolina Crusher. Now his got damaged in the box. So let's just get that out of there. Yeah, there's Crusher's Battle Slammer. That's a light. Yeah, there we go. Carolina Crusher was one of the newer ones on here. I wanted to get this one because I haven't gotten anything Carolina Crusher related before. I was gonna get the um. Muscle Machines version of it to do a comparison, but uh, I'll try that. Um, many people were complaining about Crusher not looking exactly good because uh, it wasn't following the Captain's and Captain America style scheme. I'd disagree because either way it looks cool because it actually looks like the classic Carolina Crusher, like the 1993 version. <laughs> So there's it with a battle slammer. That's truck number two. Signed, open up truck number three, which is the Black El Toro Loco. That's the claw, and here comes the bowl. <laughs> Hooray. Uh, I was I got this because I was tempted to see what they did for this, and I gotta admit it does look pretty cool. I, the last time I think I got an X-ray was I believe the Wrecking, it was either Wrecking Crew, X-Ray, or X-Ray Gunslinger. That was the last time I got an X-Ray truck. Uh, anyway, um, there's the X-Ray El Toro Loco. Looks very good, I gotta say, it keeps the black sheen to it. I thought it was just gonna look like El Toro Loco, but uh, it looked weirder. <laughs> just gonna pull these two better. And the final one is the Monster Mutt Rottweiler. Oh, there goes the Battle Slammer piece. Now this one, they it doesn't look like it like phases through it. It phases through a little bit, but it doesn't have like the full thing like it does for El Toro Loco, where it actually you can see through it. Uh, let me see if I can get the 
Battlesimer piece on there. There we go. Moss Mud Rob Eiler. And I'm just gonna get the box out of there. And then there's the comparisons between the two Rottweilers and the two El Toro Locos. Now, pros and cons, not really anything. I like, they're all pros across the board. Rottweiler, I gotta admit, looks bad, looks good in this. Um, it's gonna be cool to see if they do any more Monster Mutts. The Black El Toro Loco. Um, that's cool. I love it. And it also keeps the Black Outro look a look with the red horns and everything. The horns are actually really sturdy. I'm surprised. The Carolina Crusher. One of the best trucks I've seen in a while. It looks like the classic Crusher with uh, the new look and everything. So that's good. And Doomsday. Not much to say because it's just a thick black truck. But I gotta admit, Doomsday does look cool. So. These are good. Um, before I end off this video with these trucks, I have one minor announcement for Sign Up Series people. Instead of it being called Sign Up Series, it's going to be a Championship Series. Yeah, I decided to make a trans transfer to Championship Series. So, all the trucks that compete in Sign Up Series 1, you get to stay in them. But, here's I'm going to make a proposition for the drivers of Monster Mutt, El Toro Loco, and NEA police and Stone Crusher. If you want to switch your truck, like NEA can be Doomsday, Carolina Crusher can be Stone Crusher, and then uh, Stone Crusher can be Carolina Crusher, and then the Black Ops Roll Loco, they can just be minor switches. Um, if you're on Instagram, just DM me if you want to switch it, or I'll just DM you. Um, Sam Series, no, none of the trucks will be changed. There's no 40 truck lineup. The track will stay the same, but it's going to be Sam Series, so. Yeah, thanks for watching. Um, hopes to get the 2016 truck like the blue wheel, son of a digger, or the blue crustacean.